Hi guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to my Flagstaff home. I'm here today to talk about a thread that I've discovered for making my pine needle baskets and I would love to tell you about it. So come along and be sure to subscribe. So as many of you know, I make pine needle baskets and I have an instructional video where I kind of walk you through all the, you know, step by step how to make one. So if you have not yet learned how to make pine needle baskets, um, I would encourage you to check that um, video out. I've linked it for you in the space below and it will take you over there to that. In that video, I talk about supplies that you need for making a pine needle basket, including the kind of thread. And in the in the space below that video, I linked a couple of different brands of um, wax polyester thread. They were very, very, very similar. Um, and I, I've only used those two kinds in my basket making, but I discovered a new kind of thread that I wanna tell you about because it has a different look and feel, and I think you might be interested in this. So anyway, this stuff is called Coule. It's by 10,000 Miles LLC. It comes in this nice, you know, nice big, uh, here. here, this one won't have that <laughs> light reflection. So anyway, um, this is, it's very interesting kind of thread. The first thing you notice when you look at it is how thick the strand is. And I'll put in a picture to show you how thick, you know, how wide this is compared to the other stuff that, that I've used in the past. And um, this is still a wax thread, just like the other stuff that I've used. In fact, let me go ahead and read what is on um, the label. It says, um, artificial sinew, this waxed poly thread is very strong and easy to split into thinner strands for sewing and beading and can be split into five strands. It actually can be split into a lot more strands than that, but they're probably saying five just because if you get any smaller than that, it probably would not be very strong. Um, but as I was pulling apart this into, you know, into the pieces that I wanted to use, I noticed that it wasn't like five clean strands. It was, you know, you could pull it into a lot smaller, but you just probably wouldn't want to. So um, what I got here is I got a white and I also got a tan and a brown and a black. So the first thing obviously that I noticed that was different with this kind of thread is that I had to separate it into strands. And I wanted to know what it would look like in, um, you know, with different um, thicknesses of thread. And like, did I want to do a whole basket with really, really tiny thread and a whole basket with a really, really fat piece of thread. So what I did is I experimented in one basket and I used different uh, thicknesses of this thread. And really, if you know, like if you look right here, it's not that hard to, to separate apart. And um, so you just have to decide how, how thin or thick you want it to be. The first thing I noticed when I started to use it was the texture, which is super different from any other that I have used. It is so smooth, like silk. It, it seriously seems like you could have, I don't know, like, well, like satin, like a satin pillowcase feels. That's how it feels. It's super smooth. And so the, the texture just feels really nice. It is definitely a waxed polyester because it grips on itself. So when you give it a stitch, a tug, it, it really grips on itself and stays. The thing that was super different from this compared to the thread that I recommended under my uh, other video is that you don't ever end up seeing clumps of wax. Like with the other thread that I've used, when I pull it through the eye of the needle, the, um, some of the th uh, wax comes off and bunches up around the, you know, the opening of the needle. Same goes the first time I would run it through the basket when I would make my first stitch. Then a lot of the wax, the first couple of stitches, a lot of the wax would like build up. And so I'm not sure why it doesn't come off of it. When it didn't, I thought, oh, okay, there's not as much wax. So it, it might not grip on itself. 
but that is not the case. Um, I don't know if it has as much wax or, or less, but it definitely grips on itself. So it is, it is absolutely, you know, a really good thing to do to get tight stitches for your baskets. Um, but it just doesn't have a lot of wax that kind of comes off. So, so yeah, that was, that was really, um, a really noticeable thing when I first started was how it felt. So when I started, um, I, I made my basket, you know, with a really thin, really small, you know, thin, uh, piece of, of this thread. And I kind of was thinking at the beginning that I might do the whole basket in that. And then that when I came to where I needed to replenish my thread, I thought, well, I'll just go a little bigger. So I'll pop in a picture so you can kind of see. So I found that even when it was, it was very, um, very thin, that the, the thread was strong. The first time I went and tugged it, I just expected it to break and it didn't. So that was great. When I got to the outer edge and I wrapped the entire outer edge, which I do explain how to do on my other video if you've, you know, if you're new to this whole thing, but I wrapped the entire outer edge with the full thickness of this thread. And it, you know, it wrapped up really nicely as you can see here. I'll put um I'll put in a, a close-up picture of it for you. But what was really interesting is how this looks. It's almost, um, it's like it's translucent. Like you can see the essence of pine needle color underneath it while it still looks white. It's definitely shiny and it feels really, really silky smooth. So um, yeah, the, the texture of this, I, I just love so much. Now, if you look at the, the cost of different rolls of thread, now I have a different brand of thread that's a about this, maybe maybe this size or maybe a tiny bit less than this, but somewhat about the same. And so, um, and if I look at the price of one of those compared to one of these, that one is cheaper. However, that one doesn't split into five strands and this one does. So there are 300 yards of thread on a spool, but then, you know, it's really 1500, right? Um, but it really is. I mean, I think that, um, this is such a, an interesting thread, a different thread, super effective. Um, I don't necessarily plan to give up using the other kind, but this is interesting, new and interesting. It looks a little different. So if you're into making baskets and you want to try something new, I have linked this product for you in the space below. They do have many colors. So be sure to go through and see what, um, what color options they have. But thank you so much for watching this video. And if I can answer any questions for you, leave a comment in the space below. I'd also love to have you come along on my flag stuff home. So hit the subscribe button and I hope I'll see you again. Bye-bye.